Hi, and welcome to Rudy's the Sue's Science Fantasy Experience, and to an episode of Retro Future, a six-part series looking at Fans Project Glacial Lord, the most wildest combat team in the universe. Episode 5, Tusker, a prehistoric beast that changes from a mammoth to a robot soldier and forms the core of Glacial Lord. As always, and just like before, I'm going to check out the box first. And the box is so big, it only just fits in my camera. So we might lose a little bit of the corners when I when I move it around, so apologies for that. But yeah, let's have a look at the box. So as you can see, it's the usual same affair. You've got the mammoth and you've got Tusker in his robotized fusion on the top. On the side, you've got the mammoth. And the other side, you've got the robot. And then if we have a look at the back, you get to see how Tusker and the Mammoth create the core, the main body of Glacial Lord. And then again, just like Mega Zero, you've got the picture that is so close to a G1 uh, box art from back in the day. And again, with, you know, Smart Robin, which is their, their take on uh, Brainstorm, and then this... Whatever this is, I just, this set's, you know, a good few years old now, we've, we've not even seen that. I just don't think it's, it's ever going to happen, but we can all hope. But what you'll notice with, with Tusker is it's heavily faded, really m much faded than the others. And I think that that's really cool. And the story behind it, is when they were being released, um, Razor Spike and Tusker, uh, they were you know the last ones to ship, uh, but FP Core, the people that make this toy, you know uh, where Fans Project comes from, announced that their shipment um, got lost, lost in the ocean, and you know these are these are the found. The found ones and obviously there this one's completely sun sun damaged along the way oh i'd forgotten to show off the bottom uh apologies for that guys so again we've got some more images of you know the cartoon that never existed so yeah you can just get to see the other characters a couple of stills from you know what would have been a cartoon back in the back in the 80s maybe so yeah, back to the the you know the sun fading. I just think it's it's really, really cool, and I love that they've they've told this story of it being lost in the ocean with a couple of the other the other figures. You know, it 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 also ties in with you know perhaps on that shipment the Mega Zero pack was there, and it originally looked like the other red packages. And, you know, they were completely lost to time. And, you know, that's where they actually managed to locate the Korean Mega Zero looking toys. So they, they shipped those out instead. As I've said with the previous boxes, it's what adds just this extra element to this toy. You know, it's it's the full toy experience with the box and the, the stickers and being able to apply extra stickers you know the minifigure that can ride and then you know as as i've shown with the box the box is just incredibly cool and the little bits of damage it gives it such authenticity to something that actually didn't exist in the 80s it's you know but it's made to to give that feel and that love of nostalgia that so many toy collectors and transformer collectors have it's been an absolute joy to see all these boxes and you know th this is the biggest the biggest one of them them all so yeah that's been the the box for tusker and here we do have tusker and mammoth in their beast rider mode and what a chunk what an absolute brick it's it's super heavy, uh, and again, it, it only once again it only just fits on the camera. But 
it's such a good mammoth figure. It's exactly what you'd want from, you know, a, a woolly mammoth. Big and chunky, muscular, and it looks robotic at the same time. With some really cool stickers and paint apps for his eyes and the choice of colours is it's really great again just keeping that same continuity throughout every figure and there's no difference with Tusker and Mammoth and you've just got the the shades of of pink and you've got extra little bits of articulation when it comes to the tusks if you wanted to have a very different angled style for your for your mammoth and it's just hugely playable you know this this forms a shield later on which you'll which you'll see when I get it into robotized fusion and then have a look at the minifigure of Tusker and again once unique from the others if I grab grab another one we've got Fangro as you can see just two different head sculpts you know different body body shapes different paint apps different molding different eyes it's just they've put in an incredible amount of detail into this into this figure and it's incredible fun to play with and to display whether it's going to be displayed in combined mode, in Beast Rider mode, or in robot mode, there's so much fun and enjoyment to be had. It's been an absolute joy to review these figures and play with them as I go, and I've I've really extended the play and the enjoyment by only opening one each week. I've, I've spent a bit of time just really going over the box looking at the intricate detail and transforming them here and here and back just to get a real feel for them and the beast rider mode is again it's just as good as the others i said in my last review when i was reviewing mega zero that mega zero and tusker were the two that i'm looking for most forward to and both of them have not not disappointed when I was looking into the figure, I, I had originally thought that Tusker was the leader, but it actually turns out that Mega Zero is the, the leader. Um, yeah, secretly, Mega Zero is in charge and he passes on orders to Tusker. The Tusker role is actually more of a, a protector and he draws attention away from, you know, possible assassins or mercenaries or any other villains that might come and be a threat to the, the leader that is actually Mega Zero. Just incredible little touches that have gone into this combining team. It's, as I said, I'm going to be probably repeating myself just because of the, the pure enjoyment level I've had with this, this toy. And, you know, and I've not even, I've not even put it into its robot mode but let's have a look at the robot mode now and again just like all the others we have got robotized fusion so you want to grab Tusker pop his arms to the side and just like all the others as I said I'm going to be repeating myself because we're on to the fifth bot and create the head and body piece that slots in later you want to pop the back off which is going to create an arm shield, just pop that to one side, and then bring out the trunk, and then you want to straighten out, like so, just to create his ion cannon. Thank god they called it a, a cool name unlike previous ones where it was literally just something plain, whereas the others have got cool names. This has actually got a really cool name, an ion cannon. And then you want to grab the legs, move them to the side, and then there's little tabs 
which allow them to clip in onto the side and then bring up the tusks. You can then lift up the body and bring all the way back. Mine's incredibly stiff. Like so, and that should clip into place, there we go. As you can see, it's gonna form a bit of a backpack, a bit of kibble, but we'll look at that in a moment. Then you wanna turn him around and just bring, the, fold the legs down and pop out his feet, like so. And then separate the arms and then bring them down to the side. As you can hear the ratcheting joints and that reveals his fists. And then you want to grab Tusker and just like the others he slides, slides in. And then you can bring up the head. And yeah, a little bit of articulation and through transformation you actually get some extra extra bits which you know as you've seen from the previous episodes he's gonna have limited articulation they all do and it's just like G1 you know there's just limited articulation especially on the core parts that make up Scramble City combiners and as I said you can just pop in the shield onto his arm. Oh, just bring the tab down and attach it on. As I say, he's a big fella so he's not going to fit in the camera. And there we have Robotized Fusion. Yeah, he is a big boy, isn't he? Let's get an extra few more paint apps here and here and he's he's got heft to him hasn't he he's he's a chunk and considering there we go there's that backpack that's an awful amount of kibble we've been so lucky with the previous figures but you know he was always going to have that huge amount of kibble but as you can see I've just stood him up and he's you know he doesn't he doesn't topple over so yeah he's He's a brick, an absolute brick former, but considering that Power Master Optimus Prime with Apex Armor, God Jin Ray is one of my all-time favorite Transformers, he's a brick. I love a brick former. So yeah, he is Tusker and Mammoth in Robotized Fusion. As mentioned in the introduction, Tusker and Mammoth form the core of Glacial Lord, and you simply want to pop off his shield. Push the tab back down, take off his gun, which obviously I put in really down to the bottom, so it's going to take a bit of time to wiggle out. Bring his arms back down to the side and bring his forearms up. You then want to twist the backpack, the kibble, and before then, before you start to move the rest around, you want to pull out the fists which, if I remember rightly, this one's a bit stiff in there, but it does have a tab, a little extra bit of plastic to get your your nail under to pop it out. I love that everything is contained in a combiner with the weapons and the fists. I think it's a really neat, cool idea. And then you want to pop his head down and bring this part of the assembly over and flip the combined head round and then bring the tusks forward. You can then angle the legs of the mammoth to reveal his missile launchers. Then you want to pop his feet back up and twist the legs apart, which on mine is incredibly stiff. But that can only be a good sign. And then bring up the legs. Very much similar to previous 
combiners that you saw in G1, especially with the Seacons, King Poseidon works in exactly the same way. And then you can add the shield onto his body. And there you have the core of Glacial Lord ready for the limbs to be attached. That was episode 5, Tusker. Stay tuned to the series for the final episode, Glacial Lord, coming soon.